to move a label, for example, like my section size. I can simply just click on that and drag it to move it. Maybe I want that further out. If I want to rotate that label, there's a couple different ways I can go about that. I can either double click on that, so I could specify, you know, a rotation here. Maybe I want that at zero. We can see that is now rotated. Another way I can go about rotating this is going to be two different ways. If I hold control on my keyboard and then click and drag, we can see that allows me to go in and specify what rotation I want that at. Now, at that point, we can see it's at 13.21. Now, that's not very precise. If I hold control and shift, we can see that then allows me to snap on 45 degree increments. If I go back and look at that, we can see it is at 45 degrees. Again, I can just click and drag and move those as needed, and I can do the same for that BP1. Now this is just a label that is added, so I could go in and change that if I needed to, but again, we always suggest making sure the model is correct, because all of your CNC and all of your, your data is going to be pulled from the model rather than from drawing editor. So any changes we make here will not apply automatically back to the model.